Well, good Friday evening, everyone. So, um, you'll notice on my garden tour, it was a little lighter in the day. I forgot to record the entry, the very beginning part this morning and the end before I went on to go do errands and have fun with my mom today. So, this is for the garden tour, and y'all will see it coming up here very soon. And because I forgot at the end to say something, as always, if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I will catch y'all this evening for the staying motivated video. Enjoy the garden tour, y'all. All right, y'all, so we still have the two cherry tomato plants. I went ahead and got rid of the third one that wasn't doing so great. And then we have one jalapeno plant and two jalapeno plants and two bell peppers and one Roma tomato. So still doing good here. The pea plant just died out, so I'm going to try it again. Probably tomorrow, I'll try and plant some seeds. All right, y'all. So outside, we've got our aloe as always. And then look right here. Oh my goodness, this is my favorite thing. We've got the basil going again. Isn't that awesome? And then right here, keeping this aloe alive. And let's look down here. I've got the tulip bulbs drying out, ready to store, so I can plant them in the fall. Let's see what's around the corner, shall we? So over here, these chrysanthemums, y'all, are going nuts. I love it. And then, of course, up here, as always, that aloe is doing wonderful. And then we've got catnip. And catnip. And here in a minute you'll see more catnip. But these carrots are just coming on in. And then I have a little lettuce plant that accidentally snuck in. So I'll keep that going. And then the other lettuce is doing great. It is just coming on along. And then the geraniums are doing well. This is Casper's favorite plant to get the water out of. And the pink cone flower is coming along. No, I'm sorry. Nope. This is, I just, sorry y'all. This is actually pink tropical flowers. I just planted them yesterday and we'll see how they do since we're getting into our warm temperatures. And then these are going to be pretty purple flowers. And then our rosemary still hasn't quite popped through yet and that's okay. Neither has the lavender. And then the strawberries just barely hanging in there. I'm going to get the ever bearing strawberries this time around. And then look at here, we got plenty more catnip. <laughs> and then the purple cone flower. Let me find it for y'all. We have a little bud over here. Let's see if I can get that right there. Just right there. And then also up here. So little buds popping through. And then this poor little jacaranda is finally starting to get some new growth on the top. So it is coming back. It wasn't happy with me, but it's happier now that it's warmer. Let me take you around the other side so you can see the other part of the garden. All right, y'all. So here are our marigolds. Oh, they're doing so good. And then here is the calendula. Also very happy plants. And then the dandelions. Also very happy plants. And then the zinnias. We've got four that pop through. 
So let's see how this dill is. This one's not very happy with me right now, but that's okay. I just watered it. I hadn't watered it in a day or so. So I just got finished watering it. And then this one right here is doing great. It's just crazy how many flowers we've got. So let's get ready for the wrap up. I forgot about the current bush, y'all. So I just wanted to show you how it was doing. It is just getting green everywhere, y'all. I am super excited. All right, y'all. So this week in the garden, the garden was super happy, except for the pea plant. But that's okay. I'm just happy everything else was happy. <laughs> so I had more things pop through. I have that current bush, y'all. It was a twig from the current bush my grandma had. My parents got the main bush and root system, and I was like, I at least want a twig. And y'all, I put that in the grow bag. I put all my stuff that I've showed y'all how I grow stuff with. Put all that in the grow bag with it and just kept on and kept on watering it. Kept on leaving it outside because usually the current bush will be fine with Texas weather. So I just kept it out even though it got down below freezing and everything like that. I left it out and I kept making sure that it was still um, strong and alive. And it was. It was just a little dormant. And so now I have all of these little green buds coming out. I am so happy about that. I can't wait to show my grandma. That's my thing. Like I'll probably send her a picture or send her something so she can see it. But I'm just like, I'm so excited about that. It's so much fun. And then um, everything else is popping through, having more little things pop through, things getting stronger. And, you know, again, that pea plant, it didn't like me. I didn't treat it the way it wanted to be treated. So what I'm going to do is try and direct sow it into a little bit bigger of a pot and see if that'll give it the strength that it needs so that I can eventually put it in a grow bag. I just need to let it get really well established once it first pops through and not bug it. <laughs> so that's what I did. I transplanted it and that just wasn't smart. So I need to make sure it has a really good root system on it. And that's what I'm doing with all the seedlings that are nice and growing and big in the little seed starter. I'm letting them get a really good root system before I transfer them out of the seed starter.